Moving on to Pat Healy with the Laker. Hi, uh, Premier Houston. Businesses have to track customers' vaccine status starting October 4th with the QR code coming in late October. What's your message right now to these business owners who have already spent so much time, labor, and money to stay afloat during the pandemic to now have to find a way through this until the government releases its own version? Yeah, I mean, certainly it's been a tough time for, for, for many establishments. It's been a tough time for, for Nova Scotians. But look, all these, my message is, you know, you're doing what's right uh, for, the, for the safety of Nova Scotians. And thank you for that. Um, it's been raised a couple of times that this might be some creating some additional uh, onerous uh, labor requirements. And look, we'll continue to listen to that. But but I, I, I think that um, it, it's a necessary step. We're taking a step that has to be taken, um, and we want to support those that are that are that are supporting the process. So we'll, we'll continue to listen. But, but I, I still I, I still believe, and I'll, I'll continue to listen to examples and stuff. But I still believe that um, there may be a bit of growing pains in the beginning. But I believe this will be a very efficient process once it's once it's rolling. Go ahead with your follow up, Pat. Uh, this question is for Dr. Strang. Does the vaccine mandate include those who are volunteer firefighters, and is there any thought to maybe including them? At this point in time, it does not uh, include volunteer firefighters. Uh, we'd, we'd have to, you know, look at we ro when as we roll out uh, this first uh, group of uh, fairly diverse group of uh, of workers, uh, and and really learn from that. We haven't heard, we haven't heard anything from the kind of from the firefighting sec sector, if you will.